Hi, Stitchers. Hi. I'm Keisha. I'm Laura, and welcome to the Pattern Queens episode 101. Today is Sunday, October 9th, and this is a channel about cross stitch and friendship and rambles and lots and lots of shenanigans and oh boy a long weekend <laughs> oh my goodness we have had some new subscribers um many of you know that we hit over 1000 woo, woo. Oh, so yeah and i can't believe it and uh thank you for that we love all your comments if you go back and watch last week's video we'll only be taking comments there but um, there is the opportunity to win this chart from us in celebration of our um, 100th episode and 1,000 subscribers. So it is Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this is my copy that has my little note from him, but yours will also be signed. And so, of course, since there's two of us, there are two opportunities to win. Yes. So go and comment on that video. Um, all we ask is that you say something to do with the number 1000 and then just tell us something nice about us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we would love it if you would be a subscriber and follow us and all the all the nice things and be over 18 so that we can actually ask for your address. Right. And don't say the word giveaway because then the bots come and then someone who's not a stitcher wins it. So. Okay, would you like to give your life update? I would. So I am really tired. We're actually doing this at night. We usually do it Sunday mornings, but I have had the fullest weekend. Uh, <laughs> my uh, my mom came in yesterday and we went to the pumpkin patch with James and he had the best time. He There are a bunch of pumpkins at the beginning, uh, like right after the entrance. And so he ran to them and he goes, pumpkins. <laughs> pumpkins and then there are a whole bunch of like smaller pumpkins over to the side and he goes over there and he goes mom they're little <laughs> and he just had the best time and then today a good friend of mine came and uh we went to the renaissance festival so i've been at the renaissance festival and then this isn't much of a life update but um some of my coworkers found out that i have a, a youtube channel with a friend and my friend Lisa, hey Lisa, was watching them in the office. Not like she gets enough of my voice just regularly. <laughs> she was listening to them while she was doing her work. So hi Lisa, in case you're watching this in the office. <laughs> <laughs> How about well, you? How's life been for you? Well, we came back from Galleria. We had okay, do we want to talk about our adventure? Oh. Ooh, what an adventure that was <laughs> so we had such a great time at galleria and you saw the little video that we filmed and after that we just hung out and stitched with our friends had some dinner and we decided that before heading out we would go get coffee thank oh, goodness so um a little after seven we headed over to starbucks and we kept i kept saying what is that noise the car was making just a weird noise so when we got to Starbucks, we got out and I looked and we had a flat tire. Completely flat. The car did not drive as if we had a flat tire. Right. It, uh, it was driving fine. So we didn't do any damage to it. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But we ended up going in and I mean, it was after seven on a Saturday night. There was no one to to go to to get it repaired to get us home and mm -hmm. it was it was just devastating for us because we were planning we had been up since i know keisha said since about five, five and i'd been up since a little after five and it it just was a long long day and we we're just exhausted we ended up sitting in starbucks and um they had told us it would be an hour for roadside assistance to come and that hour came and went and they messaged and said oh it'll be another 40 minutes and it ended up that they didn't get there until probably about nine or so thank goodness the starbucks was open late on a saturday sure and um 
they came and put the um the donut on the little spare on and our friends thankfully had rented a house and we were able to go stay with them overnight but first we had to go to walmart and buy supplies yeah so i have the cutest new night shirt because of that and it was on clearance for four dollars yeah i got some fun pajamas and i got this teeny tiny like detangling brush and J- james has decided that that's his brush now because it's small so of course it's his. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we got up early 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 the next morning and um went to walmart got in we i think we were third in line and we were out of there fairly early and started home and my mission was just to get keisha home to her poor boy who was sick yeah and yeah my my husband was a trooper because whenever we left on saturday i had told him that i would stay home he's like no you've been planning this for a long time and then to find out that i had to be gone overnight was sad <laughs> so oh yeah and then it, we're on the way home and it hit me that I was not able to continue working on the project that I wanted to because I was running out of the floss that I needed. And I said, oh, hey, Katie, how would you feel about going to Michael's after we drop Keisha off? And Katie's very agreeable with that. And I said, oh, unless you want to go, Keisha. And she said, well, I will let you know that I was texting my husband to see on the status of James and if he had been like James is still really really sick because he was getting better he went to daycare the next day but um, if he'd still been pretty sick I'd have been like I can't go (laughs) and I got a little light up pumpkin spinning thing for James that he loves so all is forgiven there (laughs) but and we weren't there very long we seriously went in and got our um our floss and then we were out of there so it didn't really take us any time but and it was right on the way yeah Um, there's one that we passed which made it really convenient for us because had we dropped Keisha off Katie and I would have had to go in one of two directions opposite opposite directions and both about 20 or 30 minutes from our house so it was really nice that we didn't have to stop after that (laughs) And I don't know about you, but we got home and I took a nap. I was exhausted. Oh, well, see, I wanted to take a nap, but my poor husband was completely exhausted from having watching it, having watched a sick kid. My kid wasn't exhausted because he saw his mom and he was very excited. So I was like, okay, I'll hold on to you, but can we just watch cars, please? please? <laughs> <laughs> and he had slept pretty much all day because I know you mm-hmm. were checking the monitor yeah and he was asleep 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 and oh so yeah he just he he really wanted to be around me but I'm just like okay and I think um after my husband had laid down for a couple hours I texted him was like if you wake up can you please just come out here I just need like 15 20 minutes please (laughs) that is fine yeah um and then I went to school Monday and Tuesday (coughs) excuse me and um Tuesday I got so cold and I couldn't warm up went out to my car and sat in my car in the 80 degree Mm -hmm. weather with all the windows up just to try and warm up came home and went to bed and woke up with a fever Mm -hmm. and um one of our friends let us know that she tested positive for COVID and we had been with her over the weekend I thought oh no because I had all of those symptoms I slept for at least 12 hours on Wednesday. I really think probably more like 14 or 16 hours because I would move from the bedroom into here because I would get tired of laying in bed. And so I would sit in here with my mask on. Well, and then having my mask on made me sleepy because it was all warm, you know? And so I would just pass out here too. And so yes, Wednesday I slept, Thursday I still slept quite a bit. Oh, and Wednesday, Katie said to me, uh mom do you think tomorrow you can make the samples for love you more and I thought oh my gosh I don't even know like I've been so fuzzy I didn't even know if I could sit in that kind of a chair and to operate the sewing machine but I did it so and between Thursday and Friday and I guess yesterday I got through um, a stack of orders but I just I don't have any energy I've tested negative twice yeah so 
We'll see. Tomorrow is a professional development day for us. We'll see how I do. But I apologize, you guys. I know I look like something warmed over. <laughs> It's okay. I just came from a place where there was uh, dust flying around the entire time. So you look like you haven't slept. I look like I'm covered in mud. It's fine. <laughs> We're fine here. This is why we do Sunday morning and not Sunday We're evening. We're doing it. No, we are here. <laughs> who knows what we get up to on a Sunday. So. I'm just going to say excuse me now for all the coughs because I definitely have them. Okay, so I already know that neither of us have finishes this week, so we are ready for stash. Stash. Oh, man, I have a lot of stash. So first off, I got my fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics. This is fantasy. It's and called it is, what? It's called fantasy. Oh. And it is very of the season, I feel like. Ooh. So this is a piece of 36-count linen from their Romantics Fabric of the Month Club. So pretty. So I got that. And then I put in an order on 123 Stitch for some uh, some pieces of fabric for a few of the Halloween things that I think I'm going to work on. So this is a piece of 36 count slate from Zweigert. And I guess I should probably fold it in half. <laughs> So just a, a nice piece of dark fabric. Mm -hmm. And then I got a piece of 32 count espresso linen. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. Oh, so there, I when really, you tilted it, we really got it. Yep. Yeah. So it's just a really dark, rich brown. Ugh. And then... um. I don't know if you know much about it, but uh, Stiach, they do a an annual stitch along. It's a mystery mm -hmm. stitch along. Um, so I got things for that. I got this piece of 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast because you've been telling me about this. I think they're kind of cool. I can't wait to try something on them. I'm I'm excited about it. And so there are two different color palettes that were suggested. One that was more primary colors, one that was more pastel. Ooh. Pastel. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm really excited about it. Um, so they started... don't give you a theme? No. And, and kind of the thing is they pride themselves on no one being able to figure it out, except for the first year, whenever I tried to do it, where it was the golden girls. And, um, and then the last time they did it, they just straight up told you that it was going to be one of their old releases that they did. So this one is a return to the true mystery. It starts next Friday. So I'm excited about it. Fun. And then I got a couple of other um, pieces of stash that I'll show you in my whips. Um, but the things that I ordered are from um, Sunflower Stitchery. Our friend Julie started um, an online cross-stitch shop. And here, I'll just kind of show you the card that came with it. You can find her on sunflowerstitchery.com. She has a small stash, but she's adding new people to it all the time. So um, go Maybe and check you can her out. add that in our notes. Yes. And uh, she, she got it to me. I ordered it. It hardly took any time at all to get here. And then, okay, so this is a weird piece of stash, but it's a fun piece of stash, and I'm really excited about it. So at the Renaissance Festival, there's a vendor there. They're out of Saint, uh, out of Springfield, Missouri, or in that area, um, that does some handmade leather goods. And I saw something really cool a few years ago that I really wanted um, to make me the coolest person at the Cross Stitch Retreat. I was going to buy it last year. They didn't have it. And my friend was going to buy it for me for Christmas. Uh, the maker wasn't able to get it done. So then got it for me for my birthday this year, but we just haven't seen each other. It's this armband. So this goes around your arm. It laces around your arm. It has a pair of scissors and then a couple of jars for needles. Oh, and like, that is cool. So it'll just like be right there. You will be retreat ready. See, I'll be the coolest person at the cross stitch retreat, right? But I it's saw this. Day or whatever. Right in my normal life just always carry scissors so I really thought this was neat whenever I saw it and uh, 
So I'm really excited about this. I just got it today. So it's a brand new thing. So that's my weird piece of stuff. Then you really could be runs with scissors. Right, right. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I've got scissors strapped to my arm. <laughs> <laughs> But that's all my stash for right now. I'll show you the rest of my stash whenever we get to whips. Okay. Um, we got a couple of things after we filmed at Galleria. Our friends Connie and Melina made each of us this cute little ort basket. Yes. How and adorable. I have one. Oh, I was going to say I have one too, but I forgot to bring it in. And then I flopped <laughs> it. Now, here's the fun thing. They bought all these fabrics in Alaska and they thought this one looked like me because of the purple. But what they weren't remembering is that I, when we went five years ago, I bought this fabric and the fireweed pattern because they matched. These are all representative of um, flowers that are native to Alaska. And um, I bought this fabric, took it to my friend Judy, who made me a project bag out of it. So I have a project bag and now I have this to match it, which I just think is so cool. Mine's really cool and has totem poles on it, but I left it in the living room. Sorry, guys. And um, we also got, I don't know if you showed these last week or not. We got these cute project cards from our friend. Oh. And um, that's our friend Eunice sent these. That was just so adorable. And it on the back has a spot for you to fill out. Yes. Um. <laughs> this I think was tucked away and I didn't get to show you it's a little scissor fob that I bought look at that cat so pretty and then our friend Connie we had begged her to make some uh, thread bling because she's just the best mm -hmm. and so I got this one uh, you got a snail Mine has a little lobster. So, fun. so cute. And then I got this one with the reindeer, which Connie oh, said she thought I would pick this one up. Yes. And I got, oops, let's get this on the other side. I got this one. Because I love a bird. Yes. I just love when she does this. And we were talking about it. And I said, you should just bring it. We'll buy those from you. Yes, we all bought. We all <laughs> bought thread jewelry from her. Because who can resist when somebody brings you something gorgeous? So pretty. Then, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, From 123 Stitch, I got this it is christmas reindeer sampler from kathy barrick oh, i love that i don't think i've shown these before hopefully i haven't yeah. and b study also by kathy barrick sorry i'm not going to pull this out there you go yeah, that's perfect i love that i've seen this done as like a book cover and yeah. it would be very cute i don't know that i'll be that creative um also okay handle get out of there i have to think what's in here oh i also got spring alphabet one of our friends just did which one did she do was it this one i don't think so i'm not sure alisa mm -hmm. And I, I just them. thought they were so cute and I have liked them for so long that I thought I'm just getting one. Right. And Katie Landis spoiled me a little bit from um, Sheba Designs. Show you this. She got me this sleeve or this project bag. Sorry. Is that cool? You see the face? Yes. And the inside is all the bugs. So this is tulip pink fabric. It's rainbow bugs. Yeah. And then with the same inside, she got me the purple one that has oh, hedgehogs. 
Nice. So Ray, I will put my uh, needle binder in here and it will have a permanent home with this bag. Um, real cute too. She's using these two little oh. charms. She's in Canada. Yeah, I can't get them apart. There you go. And Katie also ordered from Ginger Stitch AU. I think I, I must have put one on something. Oh, I know what I'm missing. <coughs> one has dropped. That's what I know. Look at these. Ooh. They're little thread drops. And this. I know Keisha is mightily jealous because yeah. they're green. Look, Look at the sparkle in there. Yes. And then this one that I loved. How cute. And this one. I might have to put <laughs> it again because I think this one has a little sparkle too. Oh. They're so cool. And I know I have one more. And it just was not right here. But when I come up with it, I'll show you because it was spectacular. And I had it out last night. I don't know what I did with it. But I think that's it for this week. Wow, <laughs> wow. we both got, had a heavy stash week. Mm -hmm. Which is funny to me because we just went to Galleria. <laughs> I think some of mine is a couple weeks old. But uh, no, mine okay. is, I got it this week. <laughs> Okay, how about your whips? All right. Well, I have some whips to show. I realized that I really only brought in the things from October because I didn't think about how we didn't show things from the end of September. But the end of September, I worked on Death by a Cross Stitch. I worked on ABC Dinosaur. So you'll see those again soon. Anyway. You worked hard on those. I did. So the first thing I worked on is something that I bought at um, Galleria because I was told if you buy five Millville kits, you get the sixth free and I have no self-control. Um, <laughs> it's Spooky Cage by Mill Hill. So I, I think you have with... amazing self-control, just not oh. with Mill Hill. No, no, it's my weakness. Um, so I started this on the first and here's where I am. Wow. So I have basically... Um, this orange goes up and around and then there's one more color of orange around the outside then the i mean there's a lot of back stitching to that and then a few beads there aren't a whole lot of beads in this one i bet you'll finish that this month yes that's the plan i have big plans for the 13 stitches of halloween that i'll tell you about in plans oh okay so then um, the next thing I worked on is we got the first part of Halloween wreath from the Frosted Pumpkin. So here, let me turn down the brightness on my phone. Can't see that at all. So, well, I'm not getting all And it's a weird here. time of night. So <laughs> anyway, it looks like a house. Sorry, guys. And and what I show you is not going to be much better either. So this is on a piece of 28 count pewter from the Picture This Plus. And I've just started the house. Oh, I, you've done good. I have plotted this out so that I will finish it by the end of this month. So we'll see if that actually happens. But I love that needle minder too. It's so cute. Oh, yes. Here, let me show you just in case you guys haven't seen this. So this is anti-frog potion. And then the last thing I worked on, and this was my um, stash that I bought from Sunflower Stitchery, is I purchased Halloween Tiny Town from Heart and Hand. So here's what the thing looks like. They're so cute. Oh, wow, I so cute. So I ordered a piece of 36 count vintage country mocha to stitch this on. And here's where I am so far. So I'm using the DMC. There's a DMC conversion. The called for are all over dies, but I'm just using the DMC for this. So fun. And James love it, loves it. He looks at this and he goes, baby owl, baby <laughs> owl. So um, I'm really enjoying this one and I kind of want to buy like the other ones on the back. There's the blooming tiny town, which is adorable. So now now I'm, I just want to buy the whole series. So, 
that's all I've worked on in October so far. Okay. Well, I have a stack, so we'll see how I do. Uh, for the end of September, I worked on Pumpkin Row from Chessie and Me, which is this. And you guys are just going to be so excited. It's on 35 count tin roof uh, from Weeks Dye Works. This is what I got done, which is really a lot on 35 count fabric. Right. Borders so, of border. <laughs> yeah. And really, I'm not that far from having that part done. And then it will, it should be fun to fill in. This one I have in this fun sleeve from Love You More. And the inside is all these letters. I think we called this one Enola from the series. Okay. And then... I worked on Garden Fair by the Courtney Collection. This one's just gorgeous. Um, my thing with this is that I'm not sure that I planned enough floss for this because it's huge and it uses a lot, but I, I will come up with a plan shortly. But this is what wow. it looks like. When I started, I had this corner I had this flower outlined and I had one of these leaves done. So I got a lot in. Wow. This was my whip go call. One of my whip go calls for September, uh, stitch on the project mm -hmm. for this from a finish. So this was just lovely to stitch on. So, and, and it, that's part of what's so fun about pulling out all my whips is that I do get mm -hmm. to revisit all these things and it's like having all new projects again and I just fall back in love with things and I have it in this beautiful bag from Judy she's that gorgeous green inside but it definitely makes me think of the project so that's right fine. yeah that's a good then we hit October and the first one I worked on in Walmart while we were waiting for the car to be repaired is Miss Fortune from the Prairie Schooler. And I have been working on this thing. Um, wow. I, finished getting, um, I just had part of this to get in, in the brown. And then I started on her, got a little bit up here and down here. I think I'm going to make her hands and face green. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wanted to get the little orange buttons in here. So I did the little flowers down here too. So there's way more stitching in this than it looks like. Um, I wanted to do the green in a, um, in an etoile. The one that was available mm -hmm. when we were at Michael's was too dark. But my friend Connie informs me that there is a C907 that I should look for. And this one okay. is in a fun Love You More sleeve. Nice. Then next up, I worked on, this just says Across the River 2009. That was an event between our two cross-stitch shops. Mm -hmm. This one is designed by Rosie and Me, CCN Company. And um, when I started, I had the grass across the bottom. And I put in that fun cat and the lettering. Oh man, that cat looks so scared. <laughs> Isn't he hysterical? I love, I love him. So it, it, it was fun to pull this one back out. Kind of a, a nice stitch. I'm stitching this on just a scrap of linen from my stash. Um, it came as a kit, but the kit had Lugana in it which is not a me thing. This is in, you will not get this. This is in a Love You More sleeve that is all glitter, black glitter. So, so pretty. Oh. Then next up, um, I worked on Halloween Quaker from Leela's Studio, which I had originally started in 2019 for the Magical Stitches group on Facebook. And what I have decided is that I hate this fabric. It's a 32 count Wexford cloth. 
from silk weaver and it's it's me it's me and how things feel um it's got more of a wool type feel and i am just not enjoying this i put in three little things and i thought i i just can't so the next time you see this it will be on the opposite side of the screen yes i have just such a sacrifice said that I would adopt that because I have been wanting to start that for years and I actually have the pattern in my stash I just never kitted it and also that pattern reminds me a lot of you because that's whenever we kind of got closer because we were doing magical stitches together so and you were better to stay in the group every yes. week <laughs> so it's got to stay in the group <laughs> currently I have this in a lake house stitch co sleeve or project bag i keep saying sleeve because that's what i make <coughs> but keisha will house it in something else but you know it's fun to get to use one of my new bags so and then because i did that and i thought i i just want to do this i worked on my one project that is not halloween this month i'm stitching olga from Plum Street Samplers. Oh, uh, there we go. I love her. And I'm going to <laughs> stitch her with Boris. Oh, well, of course, they're very best friends. Yes. So they will be <laughs> back to back. Um, mm -hmm. I am stitching on a piece of 32 count jack o lantern by X Jew Designs. I love this fabric. Is it just gorgeous? And I have oh, this much so done. Great. When oh, I started, yeah. I had that tall tulip and that was it. Wow. You really did stitch a lot. I did. I had so much fun. I want to stitch on this so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like all I want to stitch on. And I am just making myself wait. So if I get everything done, this definitely is a contender to get pulled back out and worked on because really i think i could finish olga this month and that would count as a finish for me um i put this in my bag from fat cat flossing she is on instagram it's phat fat cat flossing leslie and um i love this bag it's what my halloween quaker was in previously and i thought Oh, Olga and Boris should be in the kitty bag. Well, doesn't it make it a Halloween project if you put it in a Halloween project bag? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I had 14 things in my 13 stitches of Halloween. So it was <laughs> fine to use it like that, you know. Then next up, I have Quaker Crow from the work basket. Look at this poor chart. Yes, it's been beaten to death. I have this on a piece of 32 count linen from um, X Stitch Fancies, which is Susan at Keepsakes. You're never going to get this. The color is really orangey, but look at all the grunge. It's so fun. Yes. And when I started, what I had was the feet and this part, what they're attached to, this little line. So I put in all of this last night. Is this just DMC or is it something else? This is um, Sullivan's. Look oh, at the coverage, the coverage with it. Wonderful. It's two strands on 32. Yeah, I think it looks really velvety. It's so mm -hmm. thick. So yeah. I guess I stitched on this Friday night. And then last night... Mm -hmm. Because I had really put in a lot of stitches here, I thought, okay, I'm going to reward myself. I am yeah. looking forward to this because I got a text that said, I really stitched a lot last night. Uh, okay, so I pulled out one of the um, pieces of thread jewelry from Connie. Look at the big crow. I love that. Love and the moon. That's so cute. And star. And these are my colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's telling you anything. So I started Ink Circles Another Year Creeps. Oh, by. fun. Um, and I started it and I thought, oh my gosh, because it I knew that 
it says that my fabric is 17 inches wide mm -hmm. and it says that with a two inch margin it has to be 17 inches wide and so i was a little concerned about it and um i'll show you what i did this is 32 count wisteria from color and cotton so this is the color Ooh. that's pretty close from there i got all of this in wow <laughs> <laughs> so this is the top and yes i think it's wider than 17 because i think i did a pretty good two inch at the bottom mm -hmm. but um it's a, a nice easy flow to do we were on a chat last night and I just kept stitching around and around and around and around. And and the next thing I knew, there was that much done. I worked a little more this morning. Um, I had a couple of the bats. I don't know if you could tell that. The corners on this. Those are four little bats. Oh, yeah, I see that. That's fun. <laughs> you can't tell for them unless you're like looking for it. That's cool. I think that's what draws me to this is that nothing, um, I don't think you really notice any of it until you're really looking. Kitty also bought me this needle minder oh, from um, nice. the Nerdy Needle Co, mm -hmm. which she is shutting down that shop. So if you want anything, go get it. And I got to show you the back because this is always fun. Nice. <laughs> too good right yes. uh one of the people we were chatting with uh was having an issue and i said this is what you need to tell that person i just held it up to the screen <laughs> and they just laughed so it was perfect but yeah i'm really having fun with it too uh this is another one that will be hard to set aside but i'm going to and i have it in a penny and tunny bag I actually bought this for Katie, but she really prefers a vinyl front. She mm -hmm. loved this. And I really, I took a chance, mm -hmm. but, um, she said, well, I just really like the vinyls. And I'm like, I will take that and buy you something else. Right. So I'm not mad. And the back is all these fun pumpkins. So, fun. so they're on Etsy also. And that is all of my whips. That was enough, right? Wow. Good stuff today. Sorry for all my yawning, guys. I'm very excited about what's going on with Lara. I just had a day at the pumpkin patch and then a day at the Renaissance Festival. And you and are I just know. like, yeah. <laughs> Walked out, family doubt, right? right. <laughs> so um, how about plans? Okay. So I have this side. I have, uh, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for my 13 stitches of Halloween because as much fun as it is to start a whole bunch of things and to work on a bunch of different things, it makes me a little bit crazy. I can do, you know, I can maybe start a couple of new things, but I don't know that I could work on 13 projects and my stitching time has gotten a little bit better. So I can do more than 1300 stitches in a month on on Halloween items, which is what I committed to last year. But I started this month with 10 finishes. So I thought I could finish three things, then I'd get to 13 finishes, thus my 13 stitches of Halloween. But I also decided that those three things would be Halloween themed and those three things would be started in October. So I am going to finish Spooky Cage this month. I'm going to try to get it finished by the 15th because when the 15th gets here, I want to work the second half of the month on eyeball martini. <laughs> and this has like maybe four stitches in it. I started it on the way to Galleria, got spooky cage and was like, well, I've got to start something that I've got here. <laughs> and then the other thing that I'm going to start and finish is Halloween Tiny Town. So I have this plotted out to finish, like I have it in sections to finish it this month. This one will be a little bit of a struggle because there are quite a few stitches in this. And I'm going to try to finish Halloween Wreath. And I'm going to try to do a thousand stitches on Death by Cross Stitch. And I'm going to maybe try to catch up on ABC Dinosaurs. I'm not going to get caught up on ABC Dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm going to get closer. So 
that's my plan for the month and it seems too ambitious and I might only work on Halloween pieces but it's fine it's fine that's my plan <laughs> I've already worked on seven um Halloween projects for 13 stitches of Halloween wow. um and I need to take my pictures and post them and Athena gave us a little heads up that we would maybe want to get our pictures taken and posted before next weekend because she's doing things on her channel um our friend athena uh, i think her instagram is athena x stitch creates i'd have to look her up and on here she is stitching goddess designs she is the one who hosts 13 stitches of halloween and i can tell keisha's got me there <laughs> sorry and yes, he is athena x stitches athena x stitches okay and now of course you can't really see because it's reflecting everything <laughs> my, but it's athena x stitches and the hashtag is down below in our in our um information section so for the 13 stitches of halloween um but if you if you post things, we love to all look at what everyone's working on. Everybody's getting enabled. Um, this month, Katie is doing it as a stitch and watch. So she has chosen movies to watch at the same time she's stitching, which I is kind of fun. I got to watch Hocus Pocus. Well, no, no. They had on Hocus Pocus, which I slept through. Absolutely slept through the whole thing because it was that day right and then we watched hocus pocus 2 but see i think even that was friday and i was still just right out of it but mm -hmm. i got to see hocus pocus 2 which was cute it is a made for tv disney movie mm -hmm. and if you think about it that way you will enjoy it yeah i i think that watching movies 13 movies while stitching is a really cool idea and um katie and i are showing what we're doing on the black needle society floss tube it's she doesn't really post her um her projects anywhere on instagram because she has the black needle society and that's her account for that and she would have to set up another account to be able to post so i don't know maybe i'll let her uh hack in on mine and post her stuff there too but go watch that. Laura and Katie, you're fun. You like Laura, you're here. <laughs> you definitely like Katie. <laughs> We're posting every other day. Um, so we will post again on Tuesday. We posted today. We've had a couple of them so far. We did one that was a rundown of all of our 13 stitches of Halloween. And then we're posting every other day. And we got messed up last weekend with the being out of town for an extra day. So right. No worries. <laughs> Little things. We just roll with it and take care of things. So um, my plan is to get through my other six projects during the month. So it'll be an every other day. I'm slowing it down since we're filming every other day. Um, I am trying to just take two days on them. Or like you saw this time, if I feel like I made enough progress and I'm done with that one, then mm -hmm. I will work on something else that needs to be taken care of for the month. Uh, my whip go this month is the closest to a finish and the furthest from a finish. So once I get through all 13, then I can determine which one is the closest and which one is the furthest and work a little more on that. And um, I need to work on my um, life after death. I did work on that. I didn't show you guys that one today. I'll show it sometime this month after I work on it. Um, I, I made, um, 700 of my stitches. I still have a little over 300 to go for September and then my thousand for this month, but I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Keisha and I kept chatting last week and talked about all of our upcoming plans. And then I kept thinking of things and reminding her, oh yeah, and we're supposed to do this. Oh yeah. And we're supposed to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, we have decided that the <laughs> autumn, autumn town by autumn lane will be started, um, as a new year, new start, right? Yes, That's what yes, we decided. So, yes, we did. And so, um, if you do go over to our, our hundredth video and 
and you're one of the ones who wins that and you want to stitch it with us, you'll have plenty of time to gather your materials. Or if you want to gather ask things them. and just join in, we'll come up with a hashtag. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can just ask for the stuff for Christmas. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> um, it calls for a couple of um, Gloriana's, which I stopped into the one shop that would have Gloriana's while we were at Galleria. No, they didn't have those colors. So probably I'm going to right. choose it's two trees, two of the tree colors. Mm -hmm. um, not that it's just two trees. It's two tree colors. I probably will choose a couple of really pretty colors to use that are similar to what they show on the cover. Right, right. So, so I'm looking forward to stitching that one. I've, I've liked that since I first saw it. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And you stitch on green fabric. Which is so, perfect because I love that. Yeah. <laughs> but that means you don't have to fill in that whole background. You're, right. It is your background. So that's nice too. Yeah. But, oh, it'll, it'll be really fun. And I think that's about all. I I know as soon as we get off, I'm going to say, oh, I forgot to say something. But that's okay. There's always next week. Yes, I feel like we have rambled enough for today. And we definitely got into some shenanigans on screen and off. Well, thank goodness. So all that's left to say then is bye. Bye. Have a good week.